itong AFASI um, BAR uh, Collaborative Program, uh, nagkakaroon ito ng evaluation, annual evaluation of all AFASI funded projects. For the information ng mga ating televiewers, itong AFASI ay itinatag noong 2009. AFASI stands for Asian Food and Agriculture Cooperation Initiative and it is organized by Korea. We are trying to resolve agricultural challenges faced by Asian countries. Our projects include climate change mitigation and germplasm preservation and also prevention of diseases and pests. Through information sharing and capacity building, we are trying to solve these challenges together. In the Philippines, we are working on six projects which include post-harvest management of horticultural crops, rice breeding, and mechanization. These are done in partnership between the Philippines agencies and universities and Korea's experts. To resolve issues, we are also sharing information and building problem-solving capacities. Ang APASI ay uh, isang project ng Rural Development uh, Administration ng Korea. Ang leadership di dati nito ay na kay Yusek Bernadette Puyat. Siya ang dag, uh, tumingin sa mga programang ito at siya din yung nagpa-participate no, sa mga international meetings related to APASI. At uh, dahil sa kanya ay nabigyan din ng programa ang Europe Agricultural Research. At kami rin ay natasa niya na every year to conduct the annual review of all AFASI funded projects in the Philippines. So, uh, napakalaki ng tulong ni Secretary Bernard Romulo Puyat. Noong siya naging Secretary ng Department of Tourism, ay nailipat sa Bureau of Agricultural Research ang leadership kung saan naging national representative si Dr. Nicomedes Eliasar. From 2009 to present, uh, there are 14 projects no, supported by AFASI. Ito ay nakatulong sa mga ating mga researchers and scientists no, uh, sa pagsasagawa ng iba-ibang aspeto pagdating sa agriculture at livestock. At dun din sa mga cross-cutting technologies na no, tinatawag natin sa research and development, katulad nun sa uh, soil and water management practices, uh, standards, pagdating dun sa mga uh, post-harvest facilities, and other support services na napaka-importante pagdating sa research and development. Kami ay naatasan to coordinate uh, all these um, AFASI-funded projects in the Philippines. And when we started evaluating this project in, in 2014, Yung nine dito ay completed na. Yung five are still ongoing. So today, uh, we are evaluating the activities, um, accomplishments of all the five uh, funded projects. Ito ay projects na isinasagawa ng Bureau of Agriculture, Fisheries and Standards, and um, University of the Philippines, Los Baños, Philippine Rice Research Institute, uh, PhilMEC at Bureau of Soils and Water Management. Ngayon ay pinag-uusapan namin uh, sa activity ito yung uh, utilization nitong mga technologies generated from these APASI funded projects. Katulad noong sa BAFs, nakadevelop sila ng traceability tool na pwede nating magamit sa ating mga agricultural products na ating um, Pinuproduce, ito yung na, na, na nasa market na. So may mga makikita tayo ng mga GAP certified no? products na ito ay isinagawa ng uh, BAPS Department of Agriculture. Uh, andyan din yung mga uh, crop protection technologies na uh, na-developed at iba yung sinasagawa pa ng field rice. Uh, andyan din yung sa post-harvest technologies ng UPLB at yung technologies on machineries ng Filmec. After this review, yung accomplishments will be submitted to the AFASI Secretariat. 
meron ng mga recognized awardees tayo na mga researchers no sa buong Asia na membro nitong AFASI like yung uh, meron tayong awardees from Phil Rice from University of the Philippines Los Baños meron din tayo sa Philmec at uh, of course sa Bureau of Agricultural Research ito yung aming programang Agricultural Technology Information Network or ATIN project ang ginagawa po ng APASI atin ay kami ang nagko-coordinate ng lahat ng project na pinondohan ng RDA under APASI. Na kung saan ako po ang inyong lingkod ang naging principal investigator din sa ngayon mula 2016 up to 2019. We consolidate no, all the information or the technologies generated from these APASI projects. At ito ay ginagawa namin ng mga IEC materials na ngayon ay napapakinabangan na dito sa Philippines at doon sa mga uh, member countries ng AFASI. Ang objectives nito, ang ultimate objectives is really the, to disseminate or to generate technologies that will be used by our target clientele, no? yung farmers and uh, farmers associations. At uh, dito din, uh, tinitingnan namin yung value chain no? uh, from production to market.